Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a video response to the contest that John Wayne Colt 45 is running. Uh, John, congratulations on, on all the success, and thanks for the awesome contest that you're running. Also, thanks to the uh, subscribers that donated the, the stuff that he's giving away for his contest. You know, that was really awesome. I know, uh, I know we've been looking forward to this contest for a while because you've been trying to collect some of the, uh, some of the uh, knives and gears and things like that. So thanks again for, uh, for doing this for us. Um, now, one thing that you asked is you wanted us to show you our six favorite knives and tell you a little bit about why there are six favorite knives. So as I showed you guys before, this is one of my knife cases here. So I've got the knives in here. And this is going to be in no particular preference or, pre you know, any order or anything like that. It's just kind of lined up by size. I'll start from the left over here. This is the, um, the ever-popular San Renmu uh, Model 710, what a lot of people have deemed the poor man's Sabenza. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, this is uh, the one with the frame lock there. I don't have a lot of frame lock knives, so I knew when I got this uh, I was going to instantly like it. So, obviously, for $8, you can't beat the value of this knife. Uh, the next one is going to be the recently reviewed Spyderco Manix 2. And, you know, I, I really love this knife. I love every little detail about it. But I especially love the fact that it has that um, earth at the end of, the, uh, of where it's made. I, I just get a kick out of that every time I read it. Um, you know, great, great knife. So that's the uh, Manix 2. Uh, next one is the Kershaw Breakout. Uh, that assisted opening is uh, it's just ridiculous. You just press that thumb stud and it flies open. Uh, you definitely need to hold on to this because it is an aluminum handle, so it might actually fly out of your hand if you don't, you know, have a, a, a you know, good grip on there. Break out, you know, you see this uh, where it's like kind of shattered and it, and it shows you, you know, breaking out of the, on the handle there. So awesome, awesome knife. Very lightweight, very thin uh, profile for that one. The, uh, the next one is the uh, Kershaw Scamp. Uh, pretty pretty similar in look to the breakout, but obviously a little bit more hefty. Uh, it's got it doesn't have any type of assisted, but the uh, the bearings in there are awesome. You know, it, it definitely flies out when you uh, push it. Another frame lock knife, and again, you know, I've been trying to get a couple of them to kind of expand my horizons as far as knife collecting goes. So um, I was really glad to get this one. This one. Uh, one of my older knives, but you know, instant classic is the. Uh, Rat One from Ontario. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome knife. And to take a page out of my buddy Exacto's uh, video response, if you're a knife collector and you don't have one of these knives in your collection, you definitely need to go out and get one. I mean, this is uh, for twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars that you pay. You, you can't beat the quality of this knife, and you can't beat what you get. Really, really hefty. Um, awesome, awesome opening mechanism. I mean, it flies open when you push it. Really, really nice knife. And last but not least, this is a knife that I normally showcase every time somebody says to uh, to show your favorite gun and knife. And this is uh, the Spyderco Military with the um, the full serrated blade. Uh, it's got the military stamp on the blade right there. Uh, I really, really love this knife. Uh, it's really cool because it does have the Golden Colorado USA stamped on the blade. But that was before they added the earth. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and pick up the, uh, the Manix that had that on there. Really, really good ergonomics on this. It's a huge handle. It's a big knife, but it's lightweight. You know, it's really easy to carry. So um, those are my six favorite knives. And as any knife collector knows, um, you do have certain knives that will always be your favorite, but you do have some that you normally rotate in and out. So these are my six favorite knives as of right now. Now, the other thing that you wanted us to tell you is what our favorite uh, locking mechanism when it comes to knives is. And like I just mentioned, I don't have too much experience with the frame lock, so I can't go ahead and say that that's my favorite locking mechanism. The majority of my knives has, have always been liner locks, uh, like the military here. So I'm going to have to say that, you know, because of the fact that I've been using liner locks more often, and I'm so used to, you know, opening them and closing them with a liner lock, and I'm going to have to say the liner lock is my favorite locking mechanism. Um, as far as if, if it's the best locking mechanism, you know, that's obviously up in the air for me right now. i got to test out some of the other ones. You know, I've got the ball bearing here, the, the bearing one on the Manix. Um, you know, I've got the push button one there. And I've got some of the frame locks on the other one. So, um, obviously, as of now, the liner lock is my favorite type of locking me mechanism for the knife. So... John, thanks again for the contest. Uh, really, really generous of you, and good luck to everybody that's entering, and I look forward to seeing everybody else's video responses. All right, guys? Thanks.